हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड सपोर्ट मी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो दे आर रिलेटेड टू दिस पुली सिस्टम सो इन ट्वेल्व टू हंड्रेड प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेट दैट डिटरमाइन द कांस्टेंट स्पीड एट विच द केबल एट ए मस्ट बी ड्रॉन बाय द मोटर इन ऑर्डर टू हाइस द लोड सिक्स मीटर इन 1.5 second right so we have to find the speed of the motor with which this uh, point a is to be drawn right and the velocity of uh, this load is given right it is we are given that the low uh, in order to hoist the load 6 meter in 1.5 second right so now the first step in solving the dependent motion topic is that we have to define we need to define our reference line from which we will uh, measure the position of uh, each and every moving object right so the datum line or the reference is normally that point which remain fixed right so as we can see that the center of this pulley will remain fixed it will not move right so we will define our datum line like this this will be our datum line and then we will attach the coordinates the position coordinates with each and every uh, moving object right but as we can see that this pulley b and this box this load is attached uh, with each other with the help of this rope and the length of this rope will not change right so what will happen is that the velocity of this pulley b and the velocity of this load will remain the same right so then we can conclude that we can consider that this is one moving block or one moving entity right so as a whole we can see that uh, this point a will move up and down this pulley d will can move up and down and this pulley c can move up and down and this the whole system can move up and down so as a whole we have 1 2 3 and 4 moving objects right so then we have to attach uh four position coordinates right so then what we say that the position of this block a in the downward direction will be represented by s a position coordinate and the downward direction is positive so we can say that this is positive s a then we will attach one another position coordinate with the center of this pulley d right so this will be sd and we can see that this pulley will move up and down then the length of this part of the rope and the and the length of this part of the rope will change right but the change in this part of the rope and in this part of the rope will remain the same right then we need to attach one another position coordinate with this pulley c so let's say that from here to the center of this pulley this will be our sc coordinate right so i will say this is my sc and then we will attach one another position coordinate with both of these and that will be represented by sb right so this will be my uh, position coordinate for the load right so this will be sb and this will be until the center of this pulley right so this is s b now in this whole system we have three cables are three ropes right so this is one this is two and this is three so we have we need to write three equations since we have three ropes right so i will write equation for the rope one right so this one is let's say represented by rope 1 or cable 1 so i will write cable 1 so we have to write the equation for the length of the rope so i need to remove this right since we are recording we are observing the position of this point a right so now this will be sa if i want to write the cable length equation then this will be sa plus this sd and plus this sd right so we will have 2 sd so sa plus 2 sd is equal to the length of cable 1 right and if we 
take the derivative of this whole equation. So, then we will have d, d s a by d t. So, this will give us the velocity of point a plus 2 d s d by d t will give us the velocity of d and since the length of the rope will remain constant right. So, that will become 0 right the derivative of l 1 with respect to time is 0. So, from this we can say that the velocity of a is equal to minus 2 times the velocity of pulley d right. Then we will write one another equation for the length of cable 2. So, from here until here this is cable 2 right. We will write that uh, this will be this length this part of the length will be as c minus s d. So, I will write as c minus s d plus this length which is s c right. So, s c minus s d plus s c will be equal to the length of cable 2. So, if I remove these brackets then this this will be 2 s c minus s d equals to l 2 and if we take the derivative with respect to time then this will be 2 v c minus v d equals to the, the length of rope 2 will remain constant. So, the derivative of this with respect to time will be 0. So, from this we can write that v d is equal to 2 v c right and similarly we need to write one another equation for the third cable for the length of the third cable which is cable 3 right. So, this one is cable 3 right. So, then this length this length will be equal to S b minus S c. So, I will write S b minus S c plus this length. So, this whole length is S b. So, plus S b and this will be equal to the length of cable 3. So, this will become 2 S b minus S c equal to the length of cable 3 and again if we take a derivative with respect to time then this will be 2 v b minus v c equals to 0 and from this we can say that v c is equal to 2 v b right. So, now let us say this is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 right. So, now we need to have an equation, we need to have a relationship between V A and V B right. So, now what I will do is that I will put this equation 3 in equation 2. So, we will have V D equals to 2 V C and V C is equal to 2 V B right. So, this will be 2 into 2 V B. So, this V D is equal to 4 V B right and now if I put this in equation 1 then V A will be equal to minus 2 V D and V D is 4 V B. So, this is 4 V B. So, this will give us minus 8 V B and this is V A. Now, we need to find this V A if the load is hoisted 6 meter in 1.5 second. Right. So, this means that the motion of the load is in the opposite direction of this S B and this is the positive direction of S B is downward right. So, this means that if you want to find the velocity of the load which is represented by V B. So, that will be equal to 6 meter divided by 1.5 seconds, but since it is moving in the opposite direction of the, uh, the positive sense of S B. So, we have to put minus sign. So, this will be minus 6 divided by 1.5 meter per second and this will give us minus 4 meter per second. So, this is V B. So, now we know V B we need to find V A. So, V A is equal to minus 8 and V B is minus 4. So, this will give us plus 32 meter per second. So, this is V A. So, now what does this mean that if V B is hoisted or moved in the upward direction with a velocity of uh, 4 meter per second, then we, we need to pull the rope the point A in the downward direction with a velocity of 32 meter per second right. So, this is the answer of uh, 
this problem right now for this problem 12201 it is said that starting from rest the cable can be worn on to the drum of the motor at a rate of VA we are given this VA in terms of time where t is in second it is said that determine the time needed to lift the load 7 meter so now we are required to find the time required to move the load 7 meters in the upward direction and we are given VA in terms of the time this equation is the important equation right so now we can write that VA is equal to minus 8 VB and now we are given that VA is equal to 3t square right so I will write this is 3t square minus 8 VB right and we are required to determine the time needed to lift the load 7 meters right so if if I write this equation so we can write this equation in terms of VB so VB is equal to if I divide both sides by minus 8 so that will be uh, minus 3 divided by 8 t square so we will have this equation in this form and we can write if this VB in terms of dSB divided by dt minus 3 divided by 8 t square and if I multiply both sides with dt then we will have this equation and now if I integrate this this is constant so if we integrate this and we are given that uh, this is SB is the uh, position coordinate of the load and it is said that determine the time needed to lift to lift the load 7 meters right so then this means that we need to move this load in the upward direction and the upward direction is the negative sense right so this means that for minus 7 meter upward motion we need to find the time required right so now we need to integrate this from 0 to minus 7 meters right and then we need to integrate this from 0 to t so when we integrate this so we will have as b from 0 to minus 7 and this will be minus 3 divided by 8 and this is t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 when we when we integrate this and this 3 will cancel out and we will be left with if I if I put these boundary conditions then this will be minus 7 minus 0 and this will be minus 1 divided by 3 t cube minus 7 minus 0 will give us minus 7 minus will cancel out so we will be left with uh, th this is this is 1 divided by 8 so we will be left with if we multiply both side with uh, 8 so this will be a 7 into 8 gives us 56 56 into t raised to the power 3 and now if I take uh, this cube root of uh, 56 so that gives me 3.826 3.826 seconds right so this t is equal to 3.826 seconds so to move this load uh, 7 meters in the upward direction it will take uh, this motor uh, 3.826 seconds right so this is the solution of both of these problems I hope you people would have understood the solution of these two problems uh, kindly subscribe my channel and write in the comment section if you people want me to solve such more problems do like this video if uh, you people think that uh, it helps in your learning